our Pectus patient, uh, Nihat Göl, he is 55 years old man and he had Pectus excavatum deep and Grand Canyon type. Uh, we have done uh, modified NAS operation successfully and he is okay and now we will listen uh, to him uh, Pectus uh, story. Hi, uh, I'm going to talk about an operation that I've been meaning to have since 1984. Back then I was 17 years old and uh, I was diagnosed with pectus excavatum cavity and uh, suggested that I should undergo the operation, open thoracic surgery, which is also called uh, modified ravage operation, which is uh, back then, back in the day, it was uh, an ex extremely painful operation with a very little success rate and I did not have any medical symptoms that justified the operation. I used to play basketball and it did not intervene with my performance. So I decided that I should wait until I develop some sort of medical symptoms that will make the operation necessary. So I waited until my mid-40s, about 10 years ago. It was about 10 years ago, in 2012, I started having tachycardia uh, and one day I thought I was having a heart attack. I rushed to the hospital and I went through the examinations, EKG and everything. And they decided that there was nothing wrong with my heart, that I should undergo my normal life, being careful on my diet, uh, less caffeine, you know, uh, less alcohol, uh, regular sleep, uh, that sort of uh, suggestions. Uh, adv medical advices that they gave us, that they gave me, and uh, I continued uh, having a normal life again, but uh, these uh, tachycardiac attacks became more and more frequent in time. And uh, by 2018, I was having them almost monthly, sometimes bi-weekly, sometimes a few times a week. And I was trying to isolate the reason behind it, and uh, I realized that uh, every time I had flatulence in my stomach, I had the uh, extremely high heart rate, tachycardia. And uh, every time I went through a cardiac examination, they found nothing. They, they did all sorts of tests, echocardiography, BT scan, so CT scan, and uh, exercise stress tests. None of them yield, yielded to anything significant about the condition. So uh, time went by, it was about, uh, I actually uh, had to go through this for about 10 years. None of the cardiologic examinations resulted in any, anything significant pertaining to uh, tachycardia. They just could not explain it. They looked at the scans, they looked at the angiographies, uh, they looked at inside my heart a number of times. They just could not find anything because there was nothing wrong with my heart. And uh, finally, uh, earlier this year, I went through another cardiological examination and uh, they put a halter monitor on me. They uh, watched the heartbeats uh, for 24 hours. And uh, this time they came up with a new concept, uh, a new thing that they observed, which is called ventricular exocystos, which are like uh, heart hiccups. And uh, they said that I had like 5,000 of those in a day. So this is rather uh, unusual. So I should see an arrhythmia expert about it. Maybe they will uh, apply uh, catheter uh, ablation in my heart. It was then I decided I should get a second opinion. And I decided to, to uh, go and see Dr. Yuxel. And I came to see him in his uh, office and uh, as soon as I started telling him about my symptoms, he told me that, well, it is obvious that your pectus excavatum is the reason behind all these symptoms. And he explained me how the whole uh, pectus worked, how my heart uh, was pressed against uh, by the sterna uh, in my ribs and how flatulence uh, makes it uh, less uh, more congested inside the uh, pectus uh, and therefore uh, higher heart rates. So we decided to undergo the operation and uh, we set the operation date as early as possible, probably within 10 days of my first examination by him. 
I was uh, undergoing the surgery, and uh, which is not uh, a simple procedure, but I was more concerned about the aftermath of the surgery. I thought I was going to have uh, a lot of pain. It was going to be unbearable, but uh, it was only a few hours uh, after I uh, went uh, to my room in the hospital. The pain was almost uh, gone. The first night was uh, very comfortable. Uh, I was able to sleep well. And the second night, uh, when they uh, cut off the IV painkillers, it was a bit uh, painful, but it was only uh, for the night. And it wasn't uh, something that I, that I could not bear. It was just uncomfortable. And uh, starting with the third day, I started getting better every day. And I was, able to be, I was able to walk on the third day. I was able to take a shower on the fourth day. I was able to dress myself up. I was able to tie my shoelaces. I was able to continue with my uh, daily life on my own. Didn't, didn't have anybody, uh, didn't, didn't need anybody to help me with my daily routine. Now, a week after the operation, as you can see, I can uh, talk uh, very comfortably. I can sit very comfortably. I can uh, have a normal life and uh, I believe if I can do this at my age, at, at, at the age of 55, with such uh, large uh, bones if you like, uh, anybody with such deformity should not think twice about having the operation and they should do it because the sooner it gets uh, identified and done, the easier it is to recover from it and uh, people should not have second thoughts about it. And it was a very successful operation. I would like to thank Dr. Yüksel about his ex and his team uh, for the excellent job that they performed. And uh, I suggest do not wait for anything. If you have a pectus deformity, go and have the operation as early as you can. Thank you.